In order to follow along with all the videos in this course, you'll need a Drupal website. I'm going to encourage you to just grab Acquia's Dev Desktop. It's what we tend to use here in our training online. So if you don't have it, go to acquia.com downloads, come down to the Acquia Dev Desktop and download the Drupal 7 desktop for your OS. It doesn't take long. You don't need to give them any information. Just wait for a couple of seconds and the download will begin automatically. Go ahead and pause the video, finish the download, and install Acquia's Dev Desktop. You can leave all the options at their default, or you can change things up. We do have videos on this in our beginner class. The next step is to grab the files from our GitHub repository. You'll see the links to those in the session notes below. Click on those links. It'll bring you to our OS training GitHub repository. Go ahead and download the panels.sql and the panels.zip files. You'll see those in the big green buttons here. Put both of the files in whatever folder your websites will exist. If you stuck with the defaults, you should know. I'm using my sites folder here on my Mac. And so you'll see panels SQL and panels.zip. Go ahead and unzip that file. So you've got the full Drupal website, including the sites folder. And we'll import this folder into our Acquia Dev Desktop. And then the panels SQL file will be the database that we import. Once you've done that, come over to your Dev Desktop, click on Settings, Sites, and click Import. This is the import screen. I'll go slowly here. It's not very difficult. Just takes a couple of things that you have to do. The site path is actually the files that we downloaded and just unzipped. Go ahead and click over to your sites folder or again, wherever you're hosting your sites. Click the panels folder and click open. The subsite is the defaults and that's fine. We do have our database. So I'm going to click browse and choose the panels.sql file. Click open. And I do need to give it a new DB name. The key thing here is it cannot be a name that is already in use inside your Acquia Dev Desktop. Now I know that panels isn't being used, so I'm going to call it panels. The last step is to set up the URL. And so here I'm going to say panels.localhost, and that gives me a site URL of panels.localhost8082. And again, this might vary depending on how you set up Aquas Dev Desktop. We don't need a subdomain and we don't need a URL path. Click Import. This takes about 30 seconds. So when that's done, you'll have your site ready to go. And there we are. Click on panels.localhost8082 and click Go To. And here's the panel site that we set up for you. The username is admin, the password is admin. Now I know that's completely not secure. Don't worry, we're on a local host here and it's just easy to remember. Let me give you a quick tour of what we've done to set this up for you. The first thing, under structure and blocks, we have a welcome block here. That's just a custom block. It's very simple to do and it is on every page. We have a couple of views set up. I'll show you those in a moment. Under structure content types, we have two content types that we're using today, a trainer content type and a training content type. We're setting up just a quick training company type site, just like OS training. For trainers, we have a name, a biography, an image, and then an entity reference field for their trainings that they're giving. For the training content type, we have the title, the body, the date, location, topics, which is a term reference field, the image field or the logo, the prerequisites and the what to bring fields are just long text fields. We're using the five star rating field. And then of course the entity reference field to link back to the trainer. One thing to note, we're going to use this training location field in a couple of different ways. It's the address. And we're going to use simple GMAPS module to make that into a Google map as well. Under appearance, we're just going to use the Bartik theme. 
Under modules, just quickly, I'm using the module filter here that I really, really love. Drupal.org slash project slash module underscore filter. The different modules we're using. Of course, we're using Chaos Tools. The date and time module. We've used Devel to generate a whole bunch of trainings and trainers. We're using the entity reference module and the link module. We're using, obviously, entity API and tokens. Path Auto, Simple Google Maps, and the Token Module, Panels, of course, and Views. You can take a look for yourself in the site that you just imported, but there's nothing here that we've not already shown you in either the beginner or intermediate class. With the exception of the Entity Reference Module, which might be new to you, it works the same as the References Module, but it's being incorporated into Drupal 8 Core, so we used that one for this course. The only other thing we've done is we've turned clean URLs on and we have set up URL aliases so that trainers are trainers, trainings are trainings, pages are page, etc. Under content, we have generated a whole bunch of fake content using the Devel module, but we do have a Boston Drupal Explained class in here. And if you're doing this course, after May 15th, 2014, you should go in here and change the training date to something in the future so that our views can find this and put it at the top. We also have one trainer set up. And lastly, we have one basic page called Welcome to the Panels Tutorial that we'll use in our first panel. That's content. Lastly, here are the views that we've created. Meet the Trainer view is both a block and a page, and it's a very simple view that just has the image, the title, and the beginnings of their bio. The body field is trimmed, and so we have a learn more about this trainer link with the node slash node ID. And again, we cover all of that in our views class. We have both a page and a block here. We have an upcoming training view that just gives us the upcoming trainings title and date filtered by the training date that starts now and sorted by the training date as well. All right, that gives you a quick overview of the setup and the modules. We'll see you in the next video.